Hello friends, welcome to the video lecture series on artificial intelligence and machine learning. I am Dr. Dafda and in this 19th video class of AIML, we will understand the vacuum word or the vacuum cleaner as the problem solving agent in artificial intelligence. From our previous video class, we know that problem solving agents are a type of goal based agent that decide their actions by identifying and solving a problem to achieve a specific goal. The vacuum cleaner problem is categorized as a toy problem or you can say a simple problem in problem solving agent as the real world problems are much more complex to solve. Okay, so let us start. See the problem solving approach has been applied to a vast array of task environments. Some best known problems can be categorized into toy problems or real world problems. A toy problem is studied to show various problem solving methods. It can be easily used by different researchers to compare the performance of algorithms. For example, the vacuum cleaner problem, the puzzle problem, the chess problem, etc. problems are toy problems. So these toy problems means easy problems as compared to the real world difficult and challenging problems. A real world problem is more difficult and is one whose solutions people actually care about. For example, design, planning such as VLSI, layout design problem, route finding problem, touring problem, traveling salesman problem, robot navigation problem, etc. And the traveling problem we already understood in our previous video class. Okay, let's go ahead and understand the vacuum word problem. The vacuum word problem is a toy problem and involves only discrete locations, discrete dirt, etc. And therefore, this problem is categorized as a toy problem because the locations are fixed and the dirt is also fixed. Let us understand the problem for the vacuum word. The problem for the vacuum word can be formulated as follows. Let us first understand different states of this problem. See the state is determined by both the agent location and the dirt location. And here there are two locations, location A and location B. So our agent, the vacuum cleaner is in one of the two locations. Here it is present in location A. So each of this location might or might not contain dirt. And therefore there are 2 into 2 raised to 2 which is equal to 8 possible word states. How 8 possible word states? See 2 means location A and B into 2 raised to 2 means A and B either clean or dirty, right? So either both clean, both dirty or one clean, other dirty and other clean and one dirty, okay? So a larger environment would have n into 2 to the power of n states, right? See here all the 8 states are shown in state 1 the agent is in location A which is dirty and B is also dirty. In state 2 the agent is in location B and again both are dirty and similarly the other states are shown. And the goal state is state 7 or state 8 where both A and B are clean. Okay. Now from our previous video class, we know that problem formulation has five different steps. We will understand how these five steps are applied for the vacuum cleaner or the vacuum word problem. First is the initial state. Any state can be designated as the initial state. Why? Because it can start from either room A or it can also start from either room B. Next step is actions. Each state has got just three actions, left, right and suck. The complete state space representation is shown in this figure. In this figure, this capital L means left, capital R means right and capital S means suck. So every state has just three actions. Next step is transition model. The actions have their expected effects except that moving left in the leftmost square will do nothing, moving right in the rightmost square will do nothing and sucking in a clean square will have no effect. So we can see here moving left in the leftmost square has no effect so it is shown like this. Similarly moving right in the rightmost square has no effect so it is shown like this and sucking in the clean square has no effect so it is shown with a circular arc. The transition model defines a state space and in our previous video class we saw that this transition is given by the successor function result of small s comma a and see this small s is for the state whereas this capital S is for suck. These both are different and small a is for action. Let us understand this state space. Let us assume that this is the initial state where the vacuum cleaner is in location A and both location A and B are dirty. So each state has just three actions left, 
right and suck if it takes the left action nothing will happen why because it is already in the left most location if it takes the move right action then it will be in this state where the agent has moved to the room b and if it sucks the dirt then this will be the next state that will be achieved so here we can see that location a has become clean and the successor function will be result of small s of a so result of this state after action small a is action of suck will be this state and it will return this result and now this will be the new state as we understood in our previous video class now again for this state there can be three actions left no effect will take place suck no effect will take place why because this location is already clean and move right will result in this state so now the vacuum cleaner has moved to location b which is dirty so after this state again three actions can take place move right will have no effect as it is already in the rightmost position move left will again result in this state and suck will result in this state where location b has also been cleaned so now the vacuum cleaner or the agent has reached its goal state why because both the squares are clean or both the locations are clean and conversely if we choose this as the initial state this will be the path that will be followed for achieving the goal state so this is how the state space representation for vacuum word is drawn so fourth step is goal test so this checks whether all the squares are clean so here if it is checked then the goal will not have been achieved so it will go ahead and here it will be successfully completed and last step step 5 is path cost each step here costs 1 so the path cost is the number of steps in the path so if we choose this initial state of the agent then this will be path cost which is equal to 1 from here to here the path cost again will be equal to 1 and from here to here the path cost again will be equal to 1 that means total path cost is equal to 1 plus 1 that is 2 plus 1 that is 3 similarly the path cost for this condition is also equal to 3 so this is how the vacuum cleaner problem can be solved so that is all for this video class thank you very much